We made it to South Africa. Hey guys, so we just got out of the airport, got our stamps, and then picked up our car just now. So it's this little guy right here for our road trip around the southern continent. Let me just throw this in somewhere. Today on Logan Lee Adventures, our new adventure finds us hopping to one of my favorite continents, Africa, where I had lived multiple times throughout my life before. But now I've returned to explore it on a road trip with my boyfriend, Yuru, to specifically the southern continent, where we'll be going from South Africa to Lesotho to Swaziland to Mozambique. First up, the northern cape of South Africa. Look at that huge KFC bucket! Wow! So we're doing a road trip all around, but we're not doing the typical South African road trip because I used to live in Cape Town. I used to live in Cape Town and Yerun just recently uh, has been in Cape Town in the Western Cape which is you know it's such a beautiful province no doubt like uncontested but we want to see different parts of South Africa so we're going from Joburg and we're making our way from the airport all the way to Kimberley. Kimberley is a very very small town uh, not sure what to expect there not sure what to do there but we're gonna see because we just want to kind of do something that we both haven't done before and explore a South Africa that we both haven't seen before but this time we get to do South Africa together which I'm really excited about. Kim Kimberley as a whole? <laughs> to see. Kimberley's... Kimberley's whole. Oh, does she like that? So, one of the places in Kimberley that we're going to see is Kimberley's Big Hall. Yes, you heard it right. She has... <laughs> the town has this big hall Named Kimberly's Big Hole. It's hard to explain. I'll just show you guys once we're there. It's a five hour drive from Joburg, but you know, I think we haven't been in our own car in such a long time in like our own space where you don't have to worry about like calling Grab or Uber. I feel like such a bougie, like this is like such a first world problem, but it's really nice to have our own personal space. And this is such a different trip than our Asian counterpart trip. Okay, so we saw a huge ass KFC chicken bucket on the highway driving and then coincidentally we just had to make a pit stop to rest a little bit but then we saw KFC so why not make a pit stop here and get ourselves a huge ass bucket. Look, it's literally the size of my head. It looks good. That's not bad. Five hours later, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've arrived in Kimberley in South Africa. Kimberley is an old mining town, and we wanted to see this place called the Big Hole. And basically, we're in kind of like the old town of Kimberley, and or what is set up to be the old town and as you can see I feel like I've stepped onto the set of Westworld because everything is so old school and I'll just show you guys around because it's we're basically the only ones here it's kind of eerie creepy except for the people who actually work here which was why I was like oh my god because someone in the window frame <laughs> struck me anyways this is cool an old shell gas station and then a Ford garage basically what this place is is that you can see what it was like back when the new settlements had came to Kimberley and started this gold mine this well diamond mine actually so it's really cool roaming around it's just eerie <laughs> look at this it's like everybody have left town in those Wild Wild West movies. <laughs> Guy from Modern Family, Jay Pritchett. <laughs> This is the coolest thing to do in South Africa. 
America aside from nature things. After exploring the Old Town, we went to see the spectacle of it all, the Big Hole. This is a man-made structure. What used to be a huge diamond mine, but over time, since it has been abandoned, water has filled it up. We made it to Kimberly's Big Hole. It's filled up. It is a whooping 214 meters deep. Imagine that! The first diamonds here were founded in 1871. The ensuing scramble for claims led to a place being called New Rush. Original, I know. But it was later renamed to now Kimberly, and miners arrived in their thousands. The underground mine at Kimberly reaches a depth of 1,907 meters. And the crazy thing? The underground operations at the Kimberly mines have only recently closed. So now, we're standing on his ground exploring it. This is the first washing machine in the world. Hmm. Ah, I'm a bit nervous and excited, but now we get to go down to the tunnels of the mine shaft and see what conditions were partly like for the miners. While the Diamond Rush and employment opportunities were huge, this was one of the worst places to work for, for its terrible or lack of labor conditions back in the day. The majority of mine accidents were caused by rock falls and rock bursts, trucks and tramways, explosives, fatigue and high speed in which they had to carry out their work in order to increase profits. Yes, all that for a shiny piece of rock. Ooh, but look how pretty and shiny. That was a fun morning in Kimberley and now we're, we drove all the way down or all the way across to Bloemfontein and we're just stopping here at Steers which is a really great burger, South African burger joint. And we're just grabbing some burgers to go because now we're going to hit the road right after this and we're going to head to Lesotho. Look at that, juicy, big guys. So no stirs meal will be complete without some stir shake. We have strawberry, and I usually get peanut butter, but since peanut butter is out, we're gonna try this new flavor called lime. And it's really green. Lime is actually really nice. This has been the first day of our South African road trip. Give our video a thumbs up, leave us a comment below, and hit subscribe to join our journey because we're just getting started.